Welcome back. This is still TV3 New Day, and we are marking Ghana, uh, Ghana Month. The month of March is set aside to celebrate our rich Ghanaian culture. So we encourage you to eat Ghana. We encourage you to wear Ghana. We encourage you to consume made in Ghana goods so that, you know, gradually or together, we strengthen the Ghana city. This time around, we're discussing uh, something that has to do with your health, fertility, here in Ghana or in Africa, when you are a woman or you're a lady, you're unable to have your own children. It's a big problem, especially when you're a married woman. Uh, your people in your community, your family, your in-laws, everyone is expecting you to get pregnant. And it can be quite challenging. Uh, you know, it can give you emotional problems here and there. And so we are discussing that this morning. We want to know what the options are if you're unable to have your own baby. And so you want to tune in to learn a thing or two. We've been joined in studio by Dr. Nana Hinekulabi, who is a fertility consultant with the Accra Fertility Centre, Medifem. Good morning. Good morning. So we are discussing assisted conception. What does it mean, assisted conception? Um, can I say hello to the viewers? Mm. Um, assist means you helping somehow. Conception in brief means um, having the man's part mm -hmm. or whatever you call it meeting with the that of a woman. Mm -hmm. That itself is conception. I mean putting the male uh, sperms and then when they meet together, it becomes, that's the term conception. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we are looking at people who are unable to have their own children. I know there are cases where either the man has low sperm count or the woman has problem, you know, you know, containing the, uh, whatever, the baby or keeping the baby in the womb or even getting pregnant in the first place. So are there different methods for different people? At what point do I do in vitro, for instance? Yes, um, before I answer that question, I would like to briefly mention what is subfertility or infertility mm -hmm. or inability to conceive. Mm -hmm. Any couple, um, they, there are four things which must be okay to promote fertility. Number one is the sperm, okay. the man's ability to produce good sperms then um, the egg of that of the woman mm -hmm. the egg and the sperm they usually meet in what we call uh, the fallopian tube so that's the third factor and then the fourth is after the the conception the uh, that is after the egg and the sperm meet in the fallopian tube it drops down into the uterus. Mm -hmm. So these are the four things. Okay. And the whole fertility concept, um, treatment of fertility, is based on these four things. Mm -hmm. So you investigate thoroughly, make sure that none of these four factors are, you know, deficient or absent or mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. And if it is, then you try to correct any of these four factors mm -hmm. and that brings on so this means you are assisting the process of conception right now how do we go about it after mm -hmm. talking examining and making all the investigations yes four things again the egg production mm -hmm. if there is a problem mm -hmm. we have a means of improving it Normally, there is only one egg mm -hmm. that is required mm -hmm. for any woman to get pregnant. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it all starts, uh, about 50 of them, they, are, they come up for only one in the normal sense. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, if for any reason the production is not good, we try to boost this egg production up. It starts with about 50 we call them primitive eggs. Okay. And then, um, at the end of it, most almost all except one. Mm -hmm. So what we do as fertility people, 
we tried to boost up those which would have been gone. Okay. And then promote, pro provide or produce a lot more eggs. So that's the first... Um, so the more eggs you produce, the better your chances of, of, of getting one that is one viable. One that is okay. okay. That is where, unfortunately, mm. multiplicity comes in. They have multiple kids and things. Yeah, twins or but kids. that's the first assist that you can give to a, 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 any woman trying to uh, conceive. And that process is called what? A controlled of uh, ovulation stimulation uh, okay. uh, controlled hyperstimulation of the ovaries okay we control it okay so you does it fall under ivf it falls because ivf mm -hmm. ivf mm -hmm. means in vitro fertilization mm -hmm. it means you are fertilizing the egg mm -hmm. in in vitro is a latin expression for glass in glass or outside the body okay so I, t I mentioned that the egg normally mm -hmm. is fertilized in the tube. Okay. So for some reason, you bring the egg out of the woman's body. Then you fertilize and it and you put it back. And then, so the process of taking the eggs out and then fertilizing it outside the body is called IVF, okay. in vitro fertilization. Okay. Which, and um, in vivo means in life, but okay. in vitro so out simply means life. out of the living body. Okay. So egg production is part of IVF. Mm -hmm. So you get the egg out, and then for some reason you add the sperm to it, mm -hmm. and that is IVF. Okay. And there are other things we can do during the IVF process. Mm -hmm. For instance, you mentioned something like a low sperm count. Mm -hmm. Normally, in normal life, you need about half a million sperms to surround one egg mm -hmm. for that egg to fertilize. Mm -hmm. This is uh, mm -hmm. uh, the inefficiency of human reproduction. So we've mm -hmm. gone on mm -hmm. in IVF. Mm -hmm. so instead of half a million sperms, we used after taking the man's sperm, washing mm -hmm. and if it's normal, mm -hmm. we use about half, uh, sorry, 50,000 of sperms. Right. Prepare sperm to add to one egg. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, if the sperms are not good enough, we can go on further to use one sperm mm -hmm. and inject into the egg mm -hmm. to, to fertilize. And that process is called ICSI, okay. intracytoplasmic sperm injection. Okay. So IVF, as I said, fertilizing the egg outside. Mm -hmm. So there are other ways where we can aid or boost up the fertilization. So is outside. it possible that there will be a woman who doesn't have a challenge with all of these problems? You've, let's say the four, the four um, characteristics, yes. I should put it, that is still unable to conceive. Yes. In mm. fact, um, we call it uh, an indeterminate situation mm -hmm. you cannot diagnose but to me it's it's a, a fault of the science mm -hmm. we don't know it doesn't mean it doesn't exist mm -hmm. if you go in further you there is almost always something attributed to the fact that uh, um, one of those things is wrong okay if a woman may say that the egg production is okay. Mm -hmm. If you go in further, you might find something we call endometriosis, mm -hmm. which actually affects the quality of the eggs. Mm. So you go on in the normal way, you try to treat, it wouldn't work. Eventually, we may end boosting the eggs up or even taking the eggs out and fertilizing outside for us to see that mm -hmm. the baby is formed mm -hmm. and then we transfer into the uterus. How cheap or uh, is, is this process? We are told that the IVF for instance is so expensive the ordinary Ghanaian will not be able to afford the process. Yes, it it is. In fact when I came back home I, I, I thought it was very it was impossible for my for Ghanaians to 
to, to afford the process. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, it's, it's an expensive process. Mm -hmm. Everything we use, almost everything, it's important. It's important. Okay. So most of our clinics, they quote in in dollars. Foreign currency. In dollars. In dollars. You know, okay. Equivalent because okay. they've got to buy the uh, the the, ins the instruments, the needles, the reagents. Everything is 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 important. Mm -hmm. So it makes it a bit expensive. How much are we looking at? Um, I can't really... Averagely? Averagely. If, for my unit, it's a, in fact, we we're doing some sort of promotion. Mm -hmm. So we came down a bit. Mm -hmm. And um, it takes roughly our, around $26,000. $26,000. CIDIS. CIDIS. Okay. In my unit. Yeah, that for is the... Accra uh, Center. Okay, so if I've been married for a number of years, let's say I've been married for five, six years, and I'm, I'm, I'm unable to have children, or let me ask, at what point do I need to go for in vitro? If normally fertility is defined as having been trying for mm -hmm. one year of um, trying, that is, it doesn't matter whether you are married or not. Okay, you've been trying but to have sex for one whole for year. A whole year with the aim of having a baby, and it's not... Mm -hmm. That means there is a problem. It mm -hmm. has to be sorted out. Mm -hmm. And we go through the basic things, mm -hmm. like trying to improve the ovulation. Mm -hmm. You check all the tubes, you check everything, and still, within uh, four years of trying and even getting treatment, mm -hmm. it's better to go for uh, an in vitro procedure. Mm. Because... The, 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 the problem is, especially the females, mm -hmm. the women, the, the, the reproductive uh, age declines rapidly mm -hmm. as you grow older. Mm -hmm. So if you don't um, get on and, and, and try and seek uh, further help, mm -hmm. it will come to a point where naturally, phys uh, physiologically, you mm -hmm. are not producing eggs. Mm -hmm. And that is when you enter the menopause. Mm -hmm. So the earlier, the better. Mm -hmm. Anybody after 50, 35 years, mm -hmm. if you come in and you've been trying mm -hmm. before even coming to see us, mm -hmm. you would rather advise to get on with, with the IVF. Okay, okay. but is it, is it, uh, what's the success rate? Um, the whole world is about 32%. 32%. We are doing, it's in isolated areas, mm -hmm. it's a little bit higher. We mm -hmm. have about 57% success mm -hmm. okay. in getting out. I know a few pregnant. people who have gone through the process who, who have had their babies, multiple babies. Yes. And so, I mean, there are some success stories. But I, I wanted to ask, um, for people who are unable to have their own children, what should they be doing now, maybe as they put together funds, what should they be doing naturally in terms of food and all that to just boost their systems while they get ready? Um, let me start with the man. Mm -hmm. Male fertility is very difficult to manage. Mm -hmm. You cannot improve the sperms with medications and yes we are dishing out a lot of drugs mm -hmm. so i would advise that you see if you look at even goats mm -hmm. sheep dogs the male dogs and all their the balls the testes mm -hmm. they are hanging outside mm -hmm. and true truly even men human beings our balls are hanging outside if you bend on all fours, you find that your balls are there like that of a goat. Mm -hmm. But what do we do as men? We've wrapped up, mm -hmm. like me sitting here, mm -hmm. you know, wrapped up. And, and that means we are imprisoning the, the testes. So you should free the balls. Exactly. <laughs> and to be honest, mm -hmm. it's the most um, undetected reason why men have low sperm count. Oh, okay. So I would advise really all men, whatever it is, like me, mm -hmm. when I get home, I remove my underwear mm -hmm. everything. I wear a long t-shirt mm -hmm. and uh, to cover up, sort okay. of. 
I'm sure you cannot go about with your balls hanging out, <laughs> but as much as possible, as much make as it possible. hang. And how about the women? Just uh, then, before we wrap for up. for women, yeah. um, it, of course, it's yeah. the 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 earlier you get your fertility, uh, your baby sorted mm. out, the better. Okay, That's, but if you're unable to sort it out, then you have to approach an, a, a, a doctor. Sorry to we are grateful that you made time to speak with us this morning. Dr. Nana Henakulabi is a fertility consultant with the Accra Fertility Center, Medifem, and helping us to understand what it means to uh, assist conception. And so I'm sure you learned a thing or two. There's still TV3 New Day. Don't go away.